Welcome to TTT Boxing in association with IFL TV and Macklin's Gym Marbella. Here with me I have Lucas Big Daddy Brown. Thanks for joining us again, Lucas. Thank you, man. Here presenting the award, the uh, Nigel Ben Fight of the Year Award. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Oh, from, from an Australian boxing point of view, it's a, a nice recognition. Like it, it shows that people are taking notice of what I'm doing and everything else. Um, yeah, to, to, to have something that says Father of the Year is obviously something very nice to have on the mantle and you can show the kids and all the rest of it. So, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just wrapped that something that I've been doing has been uh, recognised in that way. And was, um, was Nigel Ben a fighter that you followed when you were, when you were younger? Obviously, he's massive in the UK. I'm, I'm going to be honest to say no. Uh, especially growing up, it was basically all about my Tyson for me. I, yeah. I liked the heavyweights, I knew I was going to be a heavyweight, it was just one of those things. Um, I didn't know much of anyone else. Uh, I, I did have the pleasure of meeting him when I was over in the um, in Vegas for the WBC conference. Yeah. Um, we spent a few days together training in the gym and all that sort of stuff. So I have met him since and, and obviously yeah, warmed up to him uh, quite fondly. So yeah, he's an absolute legend of a bloke. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And he's on the WBC Hall of Fame as well. So That's exactly right. Yeah, big, yeah, uh, big name. Past that. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. And then so that brings us on. So I know you went out to Vegas and WC looked like it might have been the route to go down, mm -hmm. but obviously the WBA has mandated you yeah, yeah. Um, against Shagayev. Yeah. So um, massive, massive news. And what, what does that mean to you personally to have that title shot? I know the amount of times we've spoken about it. Yeah, exactly. It's finally here. What, what does that mean? Again, it's just the, the, the step in the right direction. I, I want a WBA. To see, I, want, I wanted everything, you know what I mean? Um, I thought I was going to be up for the interim title at first, but uh, with their politics and all the rest of it, and the, there's a lot of lawsuits going on and all sorts of things, so I'm happy to get the shot. You know, Hatton and the Hatton team have come through with what they've said they're going to do. Yep. Um, from my point of view, it was just a matter of like communication barrier had sort of been gone, so I didn't know what was going on. I was, I was, it was all up in the air for me. Um, and that was some frustration from my point of view, just not knowing what was going on. But uh, in the end, they, they said trust us and be patient, and it's come through. So I'm not complaining in any way. It's just you know, I, I like knowing what's going on, and obviously yeah. wanting to have a, a path for my own life. Um, so it's, it's finally here, and, and here we go. That's it. New clothing line, as we see there. Just get, get that in. Yes. Um, title shot, 2015. Massive, massive year. That's right. Looking past Shagov, which obviously don't want to do, um, but say. Yeah bring that title back to Australia. Mm -hmm. We're looking at Tyson Fury's fight of the weekend, Deontay Wilder, yeah. Klitschko, yeah, all these yeah. names that we've been calling out. Who do you think is most likely, if you can bring this title home, who do you think you'd be able to entice into a fight once you've got that belt? Um, it's, it's hard to say. Like I'm assuming I'll be number one contender for Klitschko if I do win it. Um, so that's something that would be down the track, probably 2016 for that yeah. point of view. Uh, I'd love to fight Wilder, but then again, that's, that's an up and down. He's got a few people in line as well. Um, and I believe Fury has a shot at Klitschko yes. at the moment. So yeah. he may want to take a fight with me. If he does lose, no, I'm pretty sure he will lose. Yeah, He, he doesn't have a chance <laughs> for it, and Klitschko is going to uh, definitely put one on him. So um, I personally would love uh, Tyson Fury out of all that, and, and Dante Wilder. They're probably my, my pick of the two. Uh, if you can put the WBC title up and the WBA title, I'm not sure if that works and marries together, but obviously it's a, it's a big fight. Um, it's, they're both someone who I want to put on their ass and, and for the fans' point of view as well. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind doing so. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, personally, I think that the Fury fight would be a good one in the build-up, certainly, to watch. He's always, yeah. en always entertaining. Yeah, well, I, I know for the fact, like, he, he obviously talks a lot and everything else, and he, he's got his uh, people that are uh, die-hard fans and he's got everyone else. Uh, I've spoken to him many times in person or on direct message, and he's an absolute gentleman. He's never disrespected me in, in, a, in a way that I would take offence to it, and, and it's you know, banter backwards and forwards. So I don't hate the guy in any way whatsoever, but this is boxing as a business, yeah. and yeah, it's a good fight. Yes, I saw he, he tweeted you congratulations on the, exactly, on the shot, yeah, and exactly right. so it's obviously and, that mutual and respect. And I always say good luck on his fights, and congratulations, etc. So, yeah. did, uh, did you catch his fight with uh, Christian Hammer at the I weekend? I didn't, actually. Uh, a lot of people, before I even got a chance to watch it, have said it wasn't really worth watching anyway. So I will get to it at some point, but uh, yeah, I've, I've got bigger things to worry about. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So, um, other than say, other than the world title shot, what um, what else is new with with Lucas Brown? So you got the, the new clothing line out. Is there anything yeah. else in? How's the training going? Ideal weight. You're obviously looking a bit, yeah, bit slimmer than when when I, we last spoke. I love it when people say I look slimmer because I'm not. Um, I'm about 120 kilos now because I've I've just been sort of plodding along, waiting for something to happen. I didn't want to peak too early or anything like that. Um, I've just recently hooked up with uh, Gast Nutrition. Yeah. Uh, and they give me my food every week, nice and fresh, no nothing frozen, anything like that. So uh, the nutrition's on point. I've got the the clothing line going. 
Um, obviously I'll have a date soon, so it's basically as of today, we've started two days and, and really sort of started knuckling down and I want to get the weight down to, if I can, 112, if not sort of 114 mark. And I know by that time I'll still be strong, I'll still be yeah. uh, fit and everything else, but I'll be live enough to sort of move around and say, Shige is going to come forward the whole time. So it's going to be a matter of me sort of moving around at the same time and showing a bit more boxing skill instead of just thudding someone out constantly. Yeah, yeah. and um, so with, with the Shagaya fight, obviously, so negotiations and purse bids to come. Um, what's, uh, what's, first of all, what's your preference for location and where you'd like to fight? And second, where do you think is most likely? Uh, well... Both questions, I, I think, either Germany or UK. I, I'd like both. I've never yeah. been to Germany. I wouldn't mind fighting there. Obviously, Klitschko puts on a big show there all the time. Uh, is it the Sutherland? Sutherland Brothers, yeah. yeah. So um, I'm, I'm sure they, they have their TV rights and all that sort of stuff, which is great. Um, UK would be absolutely sensational. So I'd say personally Germany, because that's where he's from as well at yeah. the moment. Um, but uh, either way, it would, would totally suit me, yeah. And once you say so once you bring back the belt, is um, when you defend with these big fights, will you be using the fact that you're the belt holder to bring these fights out to Australia, or are you happy to, to keep travelling? I certainly hope so. Um, again, it, it really does come back down to, to money and who's going to pay what for what, yeah, sort of thing. Uh, I do have a bigger following in UK at the moment than I do in Australia, and unfortunately that's where the money is. The money is overseas. Yeah. So I'm not going to be silly and, and have a fight here in Australia if I'm not going to get paid anywhere near as much as what I would overseas. So... It is a business, and unfortunately, if people can't watch it, they can watch it on TV, so, you know, it is. Absolutely. Well, we wish you the best of luck. We'll go through and uh, say present you with that belt, and so we'll catch up soon. Awesome, mate. Thank Cheers, you. Lucas. Yeah.